Uh, yeah, hi everyone. This is Mike from Advanced Group. Just this video is about how to change the keyboard from at to a uh, quotation mark. Some people might call them a talking mark if um, you're in primary school, I guess. So um, the uh, double inverted commas is uh, some people might refer them to. Um, so what happens is uh, on your keyboard settings, the, the, uh, when you try and put an at symbol, you'll get a a quotation mark or if you're trying to put a quotation mark you'll get an at symbol now this is because in your uh, setup of your settings uh, you might have your keyboard set to um, down here in the bottom right to English UK now uh, in Australia we use a, a lot we borrow a lot of things in uh, spelling from the UK rather than US and so it's kind of intuitive that you would use UK rather than US uh, but um, that's when it gets swapped around where the at symbol is the quotation mark and the quotation mark is the at symbol uh, so what we want to do is is be able to choose US but sometimes that is not showing in this list which is down in the bottom right and so uh, it might be a bit difficult for some people to figure out. Um, there is a, a, a keyboard shortcut, I forget what it is off the top of my head, to switch between these two. Um, and um, so that sometimes you can accidentally switch them. Um, so if, if US is there, um, you can just come down into this menu and, and switch it back to US. However, if that's missing, uh, you can add that back. Now, if I go into um, settings, um, and then if we go down into, I'll just go to the home and settings just so we can show you where to find everything. Um, now, if we go to time and language, and then we go to language. Um, now down here you'll see preferred languages. And then um, if the US is, is missing from here, um, you can press plus language and then you can find it. Um, so uh, English US, you would click on that um, and then you would add it. Um, and then it would be down here in the bottom right and then you can choose it. And if you accidentally do that uh, keyboard shortcut to switch between the two, um, if you don't remember what the keyboard shortcut is that you accidentally pressed, you can just come down here in your tray um, and you can find um, the, um, the setting for the languages to change it back to UK. Um, it won't change any of your spelling or anything else like that. It's literally just your keyboard layout. So I hope that helps. Thanks.